Hi everyone, this is Pramita here. Uh, today I'm going to do a flip of my morning pages. Now I had started doing morning pages quite a few months back, but uh, somehow I fell off the wagon. Uh, it's a very common feature for me. If I don't keep myself, um, you know, challenged, then I don't feel like going back to doing the same thing day in and day out. So I have to keep myself uh, in, uh, I have to challenge myself into doing some uh, thing different or uh, doing um, different kinds of stuff in my journals so that I'll have a kind of uh, interest to go back to this uh, journal day in and day out. So that was that. But I decided that I should start doing my morning pages once again. And so I did. So this was the notebook. And I have just attached an envelope. This was actually a, a, not a flip, actually. It, it was a, a on pocket uh, filled with goodies that came from Mona, my dear friend who lives in Germany. And she had filled this stuff, uh, filled this uh, pocket with all kinds of goodies, you know. So after I had used some of the goodies up, I decided to use the pocket too. So what I did was I attached it to my journal. Um, and uh, strangely, it, it was perfect size for this. So I had made another pocket at the back so that I have two pockets, one at the front and one at the back. And uh, this was also on this um, pocket, but I've just put it over here with a little bit of glue and I've stenciled the word my story. And uh, initially I began doing some watercolor florals and uh, then I stopped doing anything in this journal altogether. And uh, as you will see that after a while, Nothing was happening and I stopped doing everything in this journal. But then again, I went back and I started journaling because I already had a few pages prepped. So I thought I'll use up those pages and I began using up some of the happy mail goodies that I was receiving from my friends. Uh, so this was a stamp my friend Mira had given me. She had been visiting the U.S., and she bought a wooden stamp for me. So that was that. And uh, I have not done any decoration of any sort. I've just used some distress stains and washi. And this is a page. Okay. So this has some uh, private matter. So I've just clipped that part up. Um, and this is... These are just some florals that I had painted on cardstock. And I've cut them out and use them over here. This is a very random journal basically. There's no rhyme or reason. I've used a lot of packaging and as you will see, and this is a bookmark that I have made with a bit of lace um, and some cotton uh, beads. And this was a very good book bookmark. Um, and uh, these are all random scraps that I had. And over here, I've used some distress stains. This is just a, going to be a brief uh, flip because uh, there's nothing to explain out here. This is pure, sheer writing, nothing else. So I just ended my May over here and I started my June. So once again, I've stamped out a few images. This was also from Mona's Happy Mail. These are all book pages that my friend Terry had sent me. So I've used them up and I've used a ton of washi tapes as you can see. This was a notepad from Coco Daisy, this one. And I've stamped over it, I've used a sticker and this is a Coco Daisy business card. I've attached that and this is a stamp and I just this is basically my brain dump you know what I do in the morning sometimes I listen to songs I write the lyrics down sometimes I do some kind of writing myself or basically I write how my morning began or whatever comes to my mind actually 
I even lay down my to-do list, menu, everything of that sort. So this is this. So I have some, uh, yeah. So on this day, I didn't do much of journaling because I just wrote a few random words. This was actually a project life card. I just wanted to do a um, tutorial I did in one of the journaling groups, how to add journaling cards into your spiral notebooks. I did that and uh, it works out fine. So these are just some watercolor florals. I played with my watercolor literally and uh, that's that. This is a tissue paper that I have used and I've written on top of that. Uh, I like how it looks, you know. I think this was sent by Mona. I'm not sure. Because she had sent me a few tissue papers, uh, napkins. This is also a watercolor floral that I had done. Mostly you'll see watercolors because that's what I'm... Uh, practicing right now on my morning pages and you will see how I have changed my style because earlier on I was writing only on one page and then I moved on to two pages because I thought I would write down my to-do list and uh, what I was currently listening to and what I was watching everything so these are all wa uh, watercolor florals done by me and then I went back to my scrappy ways, you know, I started using up a ton of papers that were bits, uh, total scraps. So I've started gluing them up and I journaled on top of them. Uh, that's what I did, as you can see. And it worked out fine, basically. And then again, I used some distress stains. I began July over here, but unfortunately, I did only I think three or four days of journaling in this journal and I moved on to a new one because uh, it didn't have any more pages so I moved on to another one so I'll show you a quick view of that also because I have uh, been journaling regularly in that journal So I'm back with the morning journal that I'm currently using. So this was actually, I intended to do a Fobonichi sort of journaling. Unfortunately, I couldn't keep up to it because I found it too much of work. So uh, even though I wanted to do a Fobonichi style journaling, I couldn't. Instead, what I did was I started... Uh, planning in this uh, journal notebook. So this was uh, the planning perfect method by Jenny Penton. And uh, I began that method. Obviously, I couldn't keep it up. I don't know why, what's wrong with me. I start off something, but if it doesn't work well, then I simply don't go back to it again. So I initially did that. So as you can see, I have uh, watercolor florals on most of the pages, basically on all the pages. Yeah, so these are all watercolors, florals I did, practicing all kinds. And uh, this I did on a cardstock and then I fussy cut that out and used it. I have initially I glued two pages together but then uh, me being the super lazy lady I stopped gluing them down but I took two pages and used a washi tape to you know uh, made the make the edges a little bit strong so that they stay together so and I started documenting my day on two pages uh, this is usually when I sit down with my cup of tea or coffee in the morning I write down what I'm listening to, what I'm feeling, uh, everything that I feel that I should uh, keep in mind on that day. So I do that. And as you can see, I have, uh, again, done some watercolor florals. I've used a punched butterfly and some word phrases. I even write some, if I feel like writing down something, um, some couplets, some quote, anything that catches my fancy, I do 
write that also. These are basically distress stains because um, that's a very easy way to fill up the spaces, you know. And that's that. I have already uh, done the uh, sides of the pages so I can only go back and prep the pages and journal in them so this is a short poem that I had written this is once again a short poem um, these are some watercolor florals I have done I am practicing a lot of florals because uh, somehow I was not doing that and I, as you can see, I already have two more prep pages and then I need to go back and prep a few more so that, you know, I don't need to do much. So that's that. So this was my, this is my actually, currently I'm using this as my morning journal or my morning flow pages. So that's that. I hope uh, you get a brief idea that how simple I have kept the stuff um, because I don't... Um, you know, I don't spend too much time on this. It's just that the morning hour or two, I sit down with this and I plan out my day. I do some chores at home and in between I come back and do journaling. That's that. And this lies open on my dining table. And I always go back and write something down and then I come back and do something else. It's, uh, you know, it's an ongoing process for a long period of time. So that's that. I hope you like it. And uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Bye.